for exchange international <laughs> snuck out they tell me in 1975 you know they had a few, <laughs> a few cabinets they had some tone generators they got them out the door but I remember a man he was a technician in California and uh, when he found out they weren't going to be making b3s anymore in 1974 or thereabout he said well I've been selling b3s and renting b3s for all my life Send me 50 of them. He bought 50 of them. Wow. And, and you know, this sounds almost like an unbelievable story, but when he had his last one, he contacted Keyboard Exchange International. His first name was Glenn. And uh, he had wanted to sell that last one to someone who would appreciate it. It was still in the box. Wow. I could hardly believe it. So I, we were living here in Florida. You, you were a oh, yeah. little shaver, I guess. Well, maybe not. Yeah. You were an adult then. <laughs> but, uh, it was about 30 years ago. You were in your early 20s, maybe. So I flew out to California. I had to see this in person. And sure enough, I got there. There was the garage he built that, hold, that held 50 organs. Wow. Here was a couple of friends of his that confirmed the story. And, you know, I, I learned a lot about the man, and I knew it was real. But we bought that organ. We brought it back. It got into all the trade papers and everything. Wow. And uh, it was a very interesting and exciting thing for me to do. Find the last B3 still in the box. Yeah. So that one got sent to Europe, and uh, we bought another one like that. That's, that got sold after it was tested for about a year in my home. <laughs> tested. Yeah. yeah, we took it out of the box and <laughs> filmed it and everything, and I enjoyed that organ. But you know, we can't call the factory and say, oh, send me 50 B3s. We can't do that anymore. So, so what we're doing, folks, is we're gathering the best ones from all over the country, the ones that are, you know, in someone's living room, like, like kind of like this one, you know, it wasn't on the road. And everything you see under that plastic, those plastic covers, the plastic itself is not very decorative, but what's under there is like Corvettes, or <laughs> mint condition Harleys, or, Stradivarius violins or something, you know, they're very collectible. Everything under that plastic is like this, is a B3. So, we're, you guys are lining up a trip, right? Yeah. We're yeah. sending out three B3s uh, to what? Uh, Kentucky, Texas, Louisiana, Louisiana, 
So we're expecting Randolph Carter to come here soon and get his instructions for the delivery. They're leaving Monday morning. But that's how we roll around here. Uh, we make these little videos and we let all the people know we're doing several things here. We're offering our restoration services to you. We're offering to purchase your B3 if you have one or two or three or more. And we're also, after we restore them, we're selling them with a warranty, delivery. What, what more can we do, Grant? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We're trying to make it easy for people, you know? Yeah, yeah these extended warranties. Uh, we do annual services. So on this particular trip, we had three deliveries. We actually made a pickup along the way. We try to make it cost effective as we're hitting all the stops. And we actually, out of the f one pickup and three deliveries, we have a total of 13 stops. So the rest of those are actually annual services where we'll go into the church and take care of that uh, free included uh, annual service for that extended warranty. So uh, that, that really made this trip even uh, better for us and the customer. It makes a great point uh, that you are making a great point, Rodney, that preventative maintenance is kind of like the key here, isn't it? Right? Absolutely. You know, uh, yeah. these have moving parts in them. They need to be oiled. They need to be maintained by people like Grant and Smooth Move Bill. And uh, if you have a Hammond organ in your church or your home now, don't, don't ignore the maintenance. There's some things you can do yourself but if you depend on an instrument like this, become friendly with your technician or just trade it in and let us help you with it. Uh, we love it when people trade things in sure. and then we have a chance to re replace 100 parts maybe and, uh, and clean it up and get it ready, like kind of recycle it. But these instruments, there's no reason why these can't last several lifetimes. Uh, there's an organ in the building, a Model A, made yeah. in 1934, 1935. That's like 90 years old. Grant, that's older than you. It is older than <laughs> you, by a year. <laughs> anyway, uh, we just wanted to tell you how we do things around here. You can sell us your V3, you can buy one from us, you can trade it in, we can restore yours. It just takes a little extra time that way. You know. We're all about efficiency around here. So, like, like if you have an old car and you're tired of fixing it, you know, just you, sometimes you just go to the dealer and trade it in. Well, that's kind of like what we're offering and what we're suggesting. Just trade it in, pick out the one you want, and then we can maintain it for you. And we'll all work together to keep these organs going for a lifetime, our lifetime and lifetimes beyond ours because how old does Stradbury's violin, Grant? Ooh, 400 years, something like that. 400 yeah. years old, you know. And uh, it's because it was well made to start with. It's much appreciated. You can't get a better sounding violin or cello. And we think these Hammond organs fit into a category similar to that. You, they were well made. You can't find anything that sounds as good as these do, and they should last 200 years at least. My personal guarantee, 200 years. If it doesn't last 200 years, you give me a call and we'll help you out. <laughs> anything else, guys, before we start loading the truck? No. We got another trip going north. This one was going out west, so uh, for our northern uh, potential customers and clients, uh, let us know if uh, we can assist you in, in an organ or if we have some annual services we'll let you know that we're headed your way so look forward to start working on the next trip well said thank you Rodney take care folks give us a call send us an email let's work together to keep these organs going for the long term take care mm -hmm.